Welcome to Jesus Calling for November 11th. Do not let any set of circumstances intimidate you. The scripture is Ephesians 1, 18 to 20 and Psalm 105, 41. Let's look those up. Ephesians 1, 18 to 20 says, I pray also that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which he has called you, the riches of his glorious inheritance in the saints, and his incomparably great power for us who believe, that the power is like the working of his mighty strength, which he exerted in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at the right hand in the heavenly realms. Isn't that awesome to think about Jesus in the heavenly realms? That's awesome. Psalm 105.4 says, Look to the Lord and His strength. Seek His face always. I love that reminder to seek His face always. I don't always do that. Do you? It's hard to do. Let's remember this week we're going to really seek His face always. Do not let any set of circumstance intimidate you. The more challenging your day, the more of my power I place at your disposal. You seem to think that I empower you equally each day, but that is not so. Your tendency upon awakening is to assess the difficulties ahead of you, measuring them against your average strength. This is an exercise in unreality. I know what each of your days will contain. He does, doesn't he? So we should trust that. And I empower you accordingly. The degree to which I strengthen you on a given day is based mainly on two variables, the difficulty of your circumstances and your willingness to depend on me for help. That was really good. I'm going to read that again. The degree to which I strengthen you on a given day is based mainly on two variables, the difficulty of your circumstance and your willingness to depend on me for help. Try to view challenging days as opportunities to receive more of my power than usual. Look to me for all that you need and watch to see what I will do. As your day, so shall your strength be. I love this. I can attest to this in my life. I'm sure you can too. On the days when things are really hard and you need more of his strength, isn't it amazing? It just comes. But you know, I think we need to ask for it. And so I'm asking for his strength and wisdom all the time. But if you're having a really hard day, my friend, don't just be down and just all boo-hoo about it, right? He's there. He's waiting to just give you strength, right? So just throw yourself up to him. Say, God, I need more of your strength today. I need more of your wisdom, more of your grace, more of your power. And he is faithful to deliver all of that to us if we ask. So I hope today that you are just calling on him for every moment of your day. And especially if it's a hard day, because the harder of the day, the more strength he will give you. He promises that. Let's believe him today. Have a wonderful day leaning on his strength and believing his promises, my friends. His promises are for you. I hope you have a great day believing and I will see you tomorrow. You can order your own Jesus Calling devotional book by going to JesusCalling.com. And I would love to answer any questions you may have about faith in Jesus. Just email me through my website, NancyJoyToYou.com. And I hope you go out and shine for Him today. See you tomorrow.